you're a medical helicopter and you're helping someone, I guess. <laughs> so kind of weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Y
So it was really cool to see this at the night market and I thought it tasted so good. It was my favorite dish at the night market. They had two other kinds as well and I would have loved to try the other two, but I wasn't sure because again, I haven't had it that much. I wasn't sure if we would like it or not, but I really liked it. One, two, three. What is next? The truffle chips from Terracotta Yummy. What do you think? I love truffles, so when I saw them on the menu, I was like, we gotta try them. And it took a long time because they said it would take 15 minutes before the truffle chips would be ready. And I had so much food in my hands, I was like, okay, I'm going to go outside, wait for Amir with the food so that he could get the truffle chips when they were ready and bring them out to us. I waited and waited. I was like, oh no, like maybe Amir's lost. Maybe they didn't. Amir is lost. I don't know. Like he didn't know where to find me. <laughs> um, he wasn't allowed to enter the night market again. They wouldn't give him the order of truffle chips for some reason because it was under my name. So I put everything in the car, went back to the night market to look for him. And I didn't see him. I was like, oh no, he's already left. He really is lost and I don't know where to find him. So I ran and I saw him exiting the night <laughs> what market. Is, what does any of this have to do with how you like the truffle chips? Well, I'm just saying it took forever. And then when I asked him, like, why did it take so long? He said that they forgot about us. I could only assume. Why did it take they, they so long? It took like maybe 30 minutes yeah. to get the truffle chips. That's why our food, the rest of our food was all whole. What did I think of the chips themselves? I could taste the truffle. Could have been more truffly. Came with the little side of ranch. I don't know what, some kind of creamy dip. I didn't use it. I don't like creamy dips. Consistency, the texture, maybe the thickness confused me a little bit. It wasn't thin like potato chips. They weren't super crunchy like potato chips. And they weren't soft like fries. It was kind of an in-between those two things. It was okay. What did you think? I thought it was just okay too. I mean, I'm not a big chips fan to begin with. I would never order truffle chips on my own. And the ranch was good. I did use the ranch. I am a big fan of creamy sauces. I think it made it better, but it was alright. For the donuts, I got the s'mores and you got the matcha. The matcha. This one should be started. Matcha! I think the donut itself was like a raised donut. That's good. And it had like a plop of matcha on top. Now I thought, ooh, this donut is gonna be a stuffed donut because it doesn't have a hole. So I kind of think like when it's a solid round, like there's stuff inside. So I tore it apart and so disappointed that there was just nothing but a plain donut and the matcha was just what was on top of it. Did I like the matcha icing? Yeah, that part I liked. Uh, the donut itself again was great, so I guess that was good. But there was so little matcha that I felt like I was just eating a whole plain. I guess it's not plain. It did have sugar on it, but still, I was disappointed. What did you think about the matcha donut? I'm not a big matcha fan. The donut itself was good. It had a nice glaze right on top of it. I don't think it was glaze. I think it was, it was like sugar. sugar. Yeah. One, two. Let's talk about the s'mores donut. Yeah, what did you think of it? Well, the marshmallow fell right off the doorknob the second I moved it away from the booth or whatever. So I don't know how that worked. It was well, causing... it wasn't attached because I saw the guy out there. He was flipping it over and then over again and finally settled on like, yeah, it, it was that just... position. I didn't understand what that was about. It was just kind of sitting on top, just like... So the yeah. second I moved it, whoop, it goes, <laughs> here goes the marshmallow again, just okay. It wasn't chocolatey enough. It could have definitely been more chocolatey. It would have been nice to have something inside. The fact that it's a raised donut, that's cool because it's a little bit harder to come across raised donuts that are vegan. The cakey ones are dime a dozen. And I don't even consider those donuts really. They're just, they're just brownies in a donut shape. Oh, okay. you know? So I don't know why they call them donuts. 
but this one was okay. Would I ever get it again? No. <laughs> I think there was something wrong with the texture of the donut itself. I don't know why I took some very small bites because it just didn't interest me this more flavor. It didn't look chocolatey, which I think is important if you're gonna do s'mores. Not interested in eating this donut. One, two, three. You gave your donut equal as my donut? It was just more or less the same. If you ever in Vancouver, when the vegan night market is going on, go ahead, check it out. Lots of cool vendors, cool experience, and try it for yourself. And let us know what you think. Would you go back to vegan night market again and have some food? Yeah, I hope they, you know, have a rotating list of vendors and food trucks so that we can try something new when we go back. And it's very busy. We went there around 7-ish and it was already really, really packed. And some of the food items at the food truck and the stalls where you're being sold out already. So that's something to consider. If there's something you really want to try, you might want to go when it opens. How about you? Yes, of course I would go back. It's a vegan night market. I wanted to grow. I wanted to do well. I wanted to be more vendors. And I wanted to be huge. I wanted to be the hugest night market in the world. So yes, Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. Why, why can Vancouver have the biggest vegan night market in the world? Hint, hint. What kind of thing? Night market. Biggest in the world. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, are you not getting my hint? No. We're going. <laughs> uh, with that being said, we're gonna be going to LA soon and we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of episodes in LA. We're gonna have hopefully a couple of guest spots in there too. We're gonna have to watch out and see who they're gonna be. If you like these videos and you like the kind of content we're putting out there, go ahead, give it a subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so I won't miss any episodes. Check out this video on Amira's handsome, handsome face. You don't even know what kind of facial hair he was trying out this week. Thank goodness it's off. Thanks for watching. Thank you.